Hello everyone and welcome to a gaming glimpse. This is a rather old game that I'm showing off. This is one of my favorite games of the 90s. I don't know why, it's just kind of a weird life simulation-ish kind of thing. But this game came out in 1993-1994. This, the version I'm playing is the old, it's like a leaked or abandoned wear version of the translation. Right here's my that's my CD copy. I'll actually take a picture of it and upload it in my video to show that I actually have a sealed copy of this game. I actually bought it um, not too long ago, actually. I paid like $14 for it or something like that. Eh. I don't know. I love this game, though. Um, I'm just going to show it off. There's actually multiple other Princess Maker games. There's some that's from the PSP. So it's like a, I know it's up to five. I don't know if it's a six one or not. I have to look that up. If there is, I'll probably buy it because I love the game series. I know it's kind of a weird thing to do, but none of them have ever been officially translated, which is sad because I'm pretty sure I'd buy, buy every single one of them. Heed me, game makers. Please release more of these games because it's, I really like it. I know there's a game similar to it on Steam. I don't know why they don't release these. I don't know if it's because the little girl and your guy. And, I don't know. This one is has some weird stuff to it. Um, you can actually... You basically raise this girl. You get her... Um, I think she's like start. You start the game and she's like ten, and you raise her till she's eighteen. So you have eight years to raise her. Um, but the deal is, you pretty much it's a life simulation thing. I'm just gonna just show off a little bit. I'm not gonna play a full play through this because right now I apologize ahead of time that there's no sound. That's because there is. I've never gotten sound to work on these. Um, I'm I'm gonna buy me another copy of the actual the actual uh, PC version so that I can play it with sound. Even though I have to use a guide with it because it's Japanese. And I really don't really have to use a guide. Not like I don't remember how to do it. But I'll just get started in it. And I'll explain a little bit more as I go along. But this is my family name. I'm going to call myself the Jade Family. And the next thing is the little girl's name is... I'll name her Clara. It's a mouse control game, by the way. Um, I always pick, um, October 1st for the little girl's birthday because you get an extra month with her. Um, I'm going to use my real age. I am 31. I'll use my real birthday, which is May 29th. Um, these actually do affect the little girl's personality, her blood types and stuff. Um, uh, I always pick like AB. I think it's a balance. I don't know. There's a guide for it on the internet. And this is the story. Um, I have to let this thing right here pass if I can hold down the escape button to fast forward through everything. But pretty much the story is that there was a war and the evil Prince of Darkness decided to try to take over it. And you are a great hero who stepped up to save the kingdom and the world and blah 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 from this evil, evil Prince of Darkness. So I'm going to fast forward through it all. And you save the world. Yay, the king uh, accepts you as like a ward. And then, yeah, we're granted a salary by the king. Um, and the year is when I meet the little girl. It's like the little girl is granted from the heavens. He's drawn to the outside, and the goddess calls to him, and he's granted a little girl to raise. It's really slow. You can't, I, unless I hold down the escape button, let's get through it like hyperspeed. This is as fast as you can go with it. A floating spear which is burning brightly. And there's a little girl, and you get to raise this little girl until she's 18. The whole purpose of it is to try to get this little girl. And it's called Princess Maker for a reason. The whole point of it is the good ultimate ending is to get her to marry the prince. But obviously, I never go for that. I just play it for the lulls of it. I'll actually show you my ending, my original ending. I still have it. I think I actually have the save file already loaded to show it to you. I'm not sure. I'm not going to save this game. This game is not going to be saved because I have another game um, backed up that's saved. I'm just kind of showing it off because, I, as I said, I guess a lot of people have issues with it. They think it's creepy or something because it's a little girl. And there's actually a cheat shop. I mean, you could disable the stupid cheat shop. It's Princess Maker 2. Yay! I love this game, though. But, um, there's a cheat shop that you can activate that does some weird stuff. You can, like, all you have to do, all they had to do was disable that altogether. You don't have to have the cheat shop. 
Anyway, this is Cube, your butler. He's actually a demon, by the way. I love Cube. Cube is my favorite butler of all the butlers. He's actually the one. There's actually anime. It's basically based off the Princess Maker series. It's called uh, Petite Princess Yushi. It is actually has... Um, I actually own it. Um, but it has Cube as the butler again. I love Cube, just to let you know. He's a demon in that, too. But Cube is my favorite butler. And the whole point of it is for you to, like... See, you can go to the castle here. And you can visit people. I always flip through it really, really fast. But there's different people you can talk to. You have to have special decor decorum to talk to them. And in January, um, the prince is... It's called the young officer. But he's the prince. And you're supposed to talk to him, like, every year. And that's that's the only way you can actually marry him is to talk to him every single year. You can actually marry the king, or you can be the king's concubine, which is really bizarre. Um, you can actually become ruling queen by yourself. There's different endings. It's just completely messed up. But right now, I can only talk to him. Yay, and she becomes more popular. Your whole purpose is to... You can talk to her. How you doing? She has nothing to talk about right now because it's the beginning of the freaking game. Her stats. This is, this is what the blood type bases some of this stuff it depends on just everything that sets some of the stuff you can set her dot right now I, I would usually leave it i don't normally only change it to slim down when i do the dragon tots um i made her marry i pretty much make her marry the dragon almost every single time i had this grand mission though to eventually marry her to cube the deal with that you have to go on the adventure and die a lot in the adventure and he has to save her you always pretty much, you just gotta make her spend so much time with Cube, it's ridiculous. Because there's like a hidden, there's a hidden stat. You can't see it. A relationship with her dad and a relationship with Cube. And uh, you can make her marry her dad. I think that's another reason a lot of people have problems with it. But you pretty much set her schedule. I always make her, the whole point is to like, make her... This face, each one of these raises and lowers stuff. And you have to give her, otherwise she stresses out. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to fast forward through it just to show you how slow it is without fast forwarding. Um, you see her. This is pretty much the game. It's really addictive though. It's like I will sit here for hours and play this game. As I said, I'm not doing a full playthrough of it because as I said, I'm not going to save this file. This is just showing it off. Because I've I actually, as I said, want to get my get another copy of this game in Japanese so I can hear the music because it's I've never actually heard the music to this game, which is absolutely bizarre. Um, I made her work with Cube. This is my this is my mission eventually is to get her to marry Cube. I think you have to do this a lot, is to make her help with him in the house all the time. I don't know. No, you're not getting any money. Yay, zero stress. She should be extremely happy. Yeah. She has a mood. She will go delinquent um, and, like, refuse to work. Refuse to do stuff. Um, it's just it's just fun to me. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's just strategic. And you have schooling. Each one of these raises and lowers stuff is, again. Um, I don't know what to go for this time. We are going to send you off to become a, I don't know, I think dance is what you're supposed to go through first to get it over with. I think fighting's the last thing you go to. Uh, I don't remember. I know it's constitution raising. I think she's probably going to do horrible. Then they have classes. They show the, in every class, every, like, class of study you go to raises uh, you eventually get a rival you get a rival in fighting painting and um dancing so this is actually is this content kind of repetitive no is that refinement different it's charisma on the other this is refinement yeah but yeah the different jobs open and everything like that as you go along through the game it's fun to me. I know it kind of looks kind of lame-ish. Oh, I don't have clothes for her. you got to buy clothes for her, otherwise she gets sick, which is not good. Um, she can get sick and she can die. You can actually kill her really early and you get, like, scolded by the goddesses and stuff. But that's pretty much how the game works. As I said, I'm not saving this game. 
Oh, let me show you how to venture looks. I don't have any. I'm just going to go out. I'm going to. She's going to get killed, but. Well, she's not going to get killed. She's not going to win either. Um, but I'm just going to show you what an adventure looks like. Do you really want to send her? Yes. Because I said about saving this game. But this is. It's got a little RPG element. And there you are. No weapons or armor. Yay. Adventuring with no weapons or armor. Beware of monsters. A monster's going to kill me right off the bat. I know this. But there's like a different there's like different maps and couldn't get away. Oh, it's gonna kill me now. Yay. And so this is what I was talking about. You have to keep losing to cute losing and getting yourself uh picked up by Cube and he carries her home. You pretty much have to do that a lot to um get their relationship up. But yeah, I I can fast forward through it all. I'll just let it go. But anyway, um, that's pretty much how the game works. And I'm going to show you how it ends. Return to save game. Oh, no. Give me a second. I'll load the actual saves. Okay. I thought I had them loaded, but I don't. BRB. Okay, these are my original save files. They're really old save files. I'll just let you know that. They're really, really old. Um, this is like my first game. This is, let me find the latest file. I think it's this one. This should be after I've accepted everything. Yeah, she's all grown up. Um, this should be after the dragon. I get her married to the dragon. She's uh, betrothed to the dragon. Yeah, this is the, all the money. He gives you like 10,000 gold. Which is a lot. But, um, yeah, give me one second, okay? I've got, I can't remember the cheat code to get to the menu. BRB. Oh, apparently as I was trying to get the cheat thing, I have the rival. I was talking about rivals. Apparently I got the rival to show up just a second ago. Um, sure. You'll get your butt kicked because I know that I'm like incredibly... These are my stats, by the way, over here on the right. And hers is on the left. If you just look at how crazy my stats are compared to her. This girl is like super powerful and her ending will show it. And pretty much I'm going to annihilate her in one hit. I like destroyed her. Yay. Fighter reputation up. Anyway, I got the cheat shop loaded. There's a way in the cheat shop that you can actually force the ending. End game. Okay, instead of going through and skipping everything, I'm just going to hit end game. And you'll get to see how the endings work. Yay. She's all grown up now. I just kicked her out of the house pretty much. Eight years have passed. Thank you for raising me and caring for me for so long. It's due to your guidance that I have grown up so healthy. Oh my gosh, this thing is so slow. You can read it if you wish. I've already read it. When I look back on the time, you remember, I remember practicing fighting quite a lot. You must have been trying to make me a strong young woman. I didn't... Bleh. I don't even want to read this. I didn't always like it at the time. But now I am thankful that... You made me learn so much. Another good memory is working part-time. I don't think any other girls work so enthusiastic. The honor of the farm, because I was there a freaking lot, because it raised constitution. I became confident in the farming. Yay. I have you to thank for that, too. Blah, 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 blah. And that's good enough yapping. Gives you time to read it. And the girl must, 18 years old, when a girl must leave to strike down on her own. What path will she choose for herself? A coat just acquired from the castle. And I think this is pretty much how it ends to all of them. I'm not sure. This is a big one, though. I get one of the bigger endings. She's taken to the castle. That's because I already know the ending. You certainly grown into a fine young woman. You were just a little child when you came to live with Dinah. I don't know where I came up with that name. You've grown into a fine young woman, indeed. 
My father praises you just as highly. I have called you here today for an important matter. I would like you to become my general. What? You shouldn't be so surprised. You have demonstrated great skill in arms the time you were a little girl. Now is the time I must retire is growing near. I would put my mind at ease if an accomplished young person like you would be replacing me. But I've only just turned 18 and I can't handle that kind of responsibility. You take after your father in humility too. There is no one more qualified than you. Have confidence. Ellie, if you are uneasy, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, she becomes the general. Yeah, this is my ending. She becomes the great general Ellie. Ellie Diner went to live at the castle and, st and study, preparing the day she'd become a general. And this is the day that the dragon... Yeah, I got her married to the dragon. I've come to take you away, as promised. Don't you want to bury me after all? No, it's just that, I mean, yeah, she feels sorry for the little dragon. He's her age, pretty much, but he's a dragon. So, it's kind of weird. She pities him, pretty much, and marries him. Oh, Hug him. Oh, Just typical poor man. She's scolding him, which is great. Don't you like me? Don't you want to marry me? <laughs> Slap. That's okay, then. It is? Such lame. OMG. I'm not gonna voice over this. I don't have a I don't have a voice for the dragon. Yay, she marries the dragon. And she's general dragon. That'd be a if you have to think, that's a very, very powerful kingdom, then. Because then you have the dragons on your side. Because your general is married to a freaking dragon. You have a dragon general. Dragon knots. FTW. For the win. Yeah, I hope they come find happiness, even though they come from different species. Yeah, but that makes the kingdom incredibly freaking powerful to me. I was like, you have to think that's a freaking powerful kingdom now. No one's going to bother them now. I plan to call her back to where she became. It's like pretty much like Princess uh, Kaguya. You know how they, she's... I don't know if you ever heard that story. And this is all my stats. I give you all of her stats, like her freaking waist bust and everything. I was like, really? I'm like, that really matters. I think that's maybe another reason people have kind of freak, feel creepy about this game. Class most taken. Fighting. Work done most often. Farm. I killed 57 monsters. She has no maternal instinct. The re relationship with her father is zero. The butler is 18. So she likes Q more than her daddy. Thank goodness. I will never have that ending. I will never go try to get her married to her father. I will marry her to Cube every single time if I can figure that out. But yeah, that is Princess Maker 2. It's a glorious little game. It's kind of addictive. It don't really take that long if you know how to skip the cutscenes and stuff. You can pretty much hold down a button. I can't get the music to work. I'm sorry, Mr. Mashihiro Kajiwara. I would love to hear your music. Just let me buy another copy of the game and I will listen to it finally. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this really old gaming glimpse. I thank you very much, Gainix. I know you don't like stuff. I know you don't like anything of yours on the internet, but I wanted to show how much I love you. And I really wish that Gainix will actually somehow get the games out over here so I can buy them. I would love you very much, whoever wants to bring them over. I don't care if you go back to 1994 and release them on Steam or whatever. I'd buy it on Steam. Come on. I don't even like Steam, but I'll buy it on Steam. But anyway, I will see you all next time when I'm playing something that actually has sound, hopefully. I may slightly glimpse for this Maker 5. I'm not sure. Um, if I get my PlayStation 2, I may do it that way. Because I really don't want to um, record the other version even though I'm playing the other version anyway that's all I have to say about this game I hope you enjoyed I enjoyed showing it to you I know it's not much but it's great to me so anyway I'll see y'all later and I should be getting 
I found a, a you know a PlayStation 4 is really slow <laughs> to upload stuff so if I ever get stuff out anyway um well that's all I have to show for this game I hope you enjoyed it as I said Pitches Maker 2 Came out in 1993, 1994, something like that. It says on the screen, original version, copyright 1993, 1994. I don't know which one it is. Probably 1994 released. Um, um, thank you very much. I will see you all later. Bye, guys.